Okay, today we are going to mount our miter saw plate to our miter saw. There's a couple tools you're gonna need. Coming with your system, you're gonna have a bag of shims with a little table, a 1 8 inch Allen wrench, four 5 16 by two inch bolts with a 5 16 lag nut. You're gonna need a quick clamp, a tape measure, a one half inch wrench, an impact driver with, or a drill with a half inch socket, and lastly a drill with your 5 16 metal drill bit. The very first thing you're gonna wanna do is measure the height of your miter saw. The height I'm talking about is from the base, where your cut hub unit is, to the top of your plate here where the wood rests when you begin to cut. Right here I measure just like that and it is reading 3 and 11 sixteenths. It's a really important measurement and I've got that on my shim table and in my shims. It says for a 3 and 11 sixteenths saw height I need the back shim to be 3 quarters and the front shim to be 5 eighths. They're labeled really easily for you. 3 quarters and 5 eighths. Those are what we're going to need. You need to be aware the front of your table is the logo. This is the front of the table. So when I'm looking at it upside down, the front has your tension knobs that allow that hook onto your system to keep it tight. I'm gonna take the three-quarter shim and it says to put it on the back. So I lift it up like this three quarters, I set it right where that edge is, right at the edge. My 5 8 shim comes right to the other edge, right in front of your adjusting height posts. Once I have those two there, I'm just going to take my little 1 8 inch Allen wrench and I'm going to tighten this. We've got the difference in height because the weight of the saw pushes the pipes down and we need to keep the height of your saw above each side of your cut hub unit. Let's pull your shims out. We're ready to mount it to our pipes. You're going to see these guys, these arches here are going to go on the back pipe which is facing the camera right now. So I'm going to set it down like this, sets on, comes down, you put your weight here, now I'm just going to tighten these little knobs. And you want to tighten those knobs good and tight. That's going to keep the saw from tipping over the edge of your unit and causing potential injury. Now that it's nice and tight, doesn't have to be centered, I'm going to take my saw and I'm going to mount my saw to this plate. Now I want it centered this way, and you're gonna take a look from the back. You want it leaned back towards the back of this plate because that's gonna give us the most room for cutting two by 12s, bigger lumber. So I'm gonna move it back, and I'm gonna stick it a quarter inch away from the back edge, one quarter inch. If it's a half inch, you prefer it a little different, that's okay. So once I've got it a quarter inch away from each edge, I'm going to center it back and forth. I've got seven eighths of an inch, I've got an inch and a half, I need to slide it. inch and a quarter, inch and an eighth, it's just barely off. There we go. Once I've got it centered and I've got it square with the back of the plate, I'm going to take my hand clamp and I'm going to clamp it down. This keeps the saw from adjusting while I set my drill, or I drill through it. <clears throat> I'm going to take my 
5 16 drill bit, put on my safety glasses, and almost every saw has a set of holes to mount to. So I'm just gonna drill straight through that hole. Now I've got pressure here, I'm gonna put this hand on the saw itself. I'm just gonna drill straight through. Now your saw should be ready to roll. It's very important to make sure that this height is above this height. Notice this is a little bit exaggerated, but it's a lot safer to have it here. I've got a quarter of an inch so that when that blade cuts, it has somewhere to fall safely. Make sure, again, the height of your table needs to be above the height of your cut hub unit by at least one eighth of an inch.